Alrighty, so today I'm going to start a new project here. Uh, it's one that I initially started uh, a while ago. I tried to do an initial start of it and it didn't work out. But today I am going to be starting to make my own web browser using Java. Now there is not really a purpose to this. The purpose of this is just for me to learn. It's not meant to be an actual like usable product. Um, it's again just here for me to learn. Right now I am planning to use Java FX for the UI. I've been swapping between that and Swing and even thinking about using OpenGL for a bit. I, I've just decided upon FX because it's something new to learn. Even though it's not really practical and uh, used a lot, it's still something new to learn. Um, again, doing this in Java, there's not really a purpose to this anyways, so it's kind of whatever. So for today, I'm going to be starting with just getting things basically set up. I Originally, when I first started doing this, I was going to make my own XML parser, but um, after trying it and getting it for the most part, but then seeing how uh, unstandardized all the HTML, XML stuff out there is, uh, I'm deciding to go with JSOUP. Uh, it's its own self-contained HTML parser in Java. And while I would like to not use any other libraries, uh, mostly for the fact that I'm, I'm not a huge fan of using libraries, mostly because uh, after working with JavaScript for a while, uh, libraries have libraries, which have libraries, which have libraries, and things get very bloated very quickly. Um, but JSOUP is it's self contained, so I don't, uh, I feel much better about using it, uh, just personal preference wise. But also, it's much more efficient than I will probably be able to make a HTML parser, so that's also why I'm using it. But um, anyway, so today to start off, I'm going to be just doing some initial setup stuff, um, probably doing look and feel, whatnot. Uh, the style of these videos, I'm going to, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for them yet, um, but. Uh, whenever I go to edit this and decide on the style, uh, I guess you guys will find out here in a second, but um, I'm going to cut away for myself, I'm going to probably do some of the coding, and then you guys will end up seeing how I edited this, so uh, without further ado, I'm going to get started and learn some Java and JavaFX. Okay, so I'm going to do some voice over here while the code is going in the background sped up. Uh, just explain what I'm doing and give you more information that way. So to start off, the first bit was just simply get JavaFX rendering, uh, learn the basics of it, and play around with it in that way. So I first start off by just making a very basic J uh, JavaFX application, render some stuff, add a label, all that, and then I started jumping into how I wanted the, the basic look of this uh, web browser to be. So I added the tabs and then the URL bar with a button that allowed you to actually enter in the URL. So in the end it came out looking like this, where you can see there's the tabs at the top. Uh, I actually have the plus button there for you could add more tabs in, uh, add the logic for that later. And you can see there the URL bar. Uh, there's no button at the moment, I get that in a bit, but uh, that was what it started out looking like. After I gotten that very basic layout done, I went in and I tried to implement the JavaFX uh, FXML style uh, loading where basically instead of dynamically creating in code, it was actually loaded via a file, uh, an XML style file. Uh, if you know Android, it's very similar to how the Android XML stuff works. And so I tried to get the file loading from there working, so that way I wasn't uh, doing it in code each time I wanted to make a new tab. Unfortunately though, I ran into issues with uh, having it dynamically load. It, you can't really have controllers uh, be duplicated in the sense that how I wanted it to be so that's how it looked but in the end I actually had to kind of just rip all this out and redo it over again it just didn't work out so it was it was nice to learn but uh, it just didn't work out and uh, none of it's there anymore so So I finally decided to rip out all that code and redo it to be code-based dynamically generated. And in the end, I actually got it all working. Uh, the plus button uh, you'll see here at the top here, it works, it adds tabs, you click plus. Uh, unfortunately, 
it works, but it's kind of jank in how it works because the plus button itself is a tab. And so I'm listening for that tab being opened. And when it's opened, I create a new tab and redirect the opening to that uh, other tab. So ideally, that plus button should be an actual button up there and not be uh, a tab itself. But for now, it works. And I'll probably kind of leave it like that and add that. As you can see, there's a to do there. So uh, I'll leave that to do and come back in the future. And my plan is definitely to make it a button because I'm sure that's much more how it should be done. From here, I ended up starting to actually use JSoup to pull in web page uh, HTML. Uh, I then integrated the button with the URL bar, so that way when you hit go, it actually grabbed the URL out of that URL bar and actually used JSoup to grab the HTML from whatever page you did. Uh, it actually worked really well. JSoup parsed it all correctly. I added a little uh, if condition here to make sure that you preface it with uh, HTTP, HTTPS, or uh, something of that nature. And if you don't, just like how uh, Google Chrome does it, if you type in just google.com, it'll still uh, prepend the HTTP on there and redirect you uh, correctly. So added that in. And as you'll see here, once I finish adding that bit in, you'll see that I can type in just google.com into my little web browser here, and it will go and actually fetch that HTML code from Google itself and just display it. Uh, for now, it just displays the HTML uh, as is. It doesn't do any rendering. Of course, that's gonna be the biggest part of this project is doing the whole rendering, figuring out how I wanna make the whole rendering work. Um, so as you can see here, it just outputs the HTML as is. Uh, pretty printed a little bit, but um, yeah, so that basically is all I got done for this uh, episode. It's not uh, too much. Again, was a lot of just learning uh, learning JavaFX, getting used to the system of it, and grabbing very basic uh, web page HTML and just storing it as is, uh, getting the kind of basic uh, browser function that are working. So next episodes, I plan to basically implement the whole rendering system Again, this is not meant to be a realistic project. It's not meant to be anything that will get finished or anything that will be uh, realistically usable. Uh, it's just kind of a fun way for me to learn web browsers, learn how they work, uh, learn more about uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, all of that, and just kind of see what I can do uh, in the end. So the again, the plan for the next videos are to solely implement the uh, rendering functionality and seeing if I can't uh, get JavaFX to basically dynamically render web pages. Um, as you'll see here, I'm putting in a web page that I have uh, personally. Uh, so I have a very basic HTML web page that I'll be using that's on my website uh, to base my uh, designs off of and get a very basic HTML loading without uh, having to worry about CSS and JavaScript right off the bat. Um, so yeah. so. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully this idea is cool to you and uh, you're interested just like I am. And I'm very interested to see where this goes from here. Also, all the source code will be up on my GitHub repo. I'll link it down below in the description. Feel free to look at it, use it, tweak it, do whatever you want with it. It's a learning tool. I, I'm not offended if you take it and do whatever you want with it. It's not meant to be realistic. It's meant to learn and to have fun with. So feel free to use it as you'd like and it's there for your own benefit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace out.